I, I, I wanted to be like Ash though, so I had to win with the Pikachu. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. I just had to do it. All right, so we're receiving water now. So this is gonna feed into here. I will start feeding in the hydrogen now. So it's gonna overflow to the left. The right side gets priority, so it's gonna be fine. And we have a lot of hydrogen, so I'm not too worried about burning too much of it off. And this is technically gonna be a backup line. Meaning it'll only really kick on if there's not enough solar power being uh, generated. First games, uh, those games took so long, and I had uh, yellow and red. Dude, something about, like, Pokemon, though. Like, even though, like, looking back, it was a tedious game, and how it's, like, super grindy, how much time you have to spend and invest. I was... I was pulled in, man. Like, I gotta be real. I, I couldn't stop playing it. I don't know, like, how to really describe that feeling. But I really just couldn't stop playing it, man. Like, Pokemon was just a jam, man. It was just a good time. I can't really explain the phenomenon. I just know that I had fun. I want to say everything is ready. Okay, so I'm going to test this. Yeah, so it does get the auto sweeper. And it does get all of my gens before it gets deleted by the space vacuum. That way I'm basically able to absorb the heat from the Radbolt generators via oxygen. And by doing it that way, I don't have to worry about this overheating anymore. The stuff drops here. I don't really care about the nuclear waste. So we're just going to let it get deleted. Same with the water. Now, the only thing I have to do now is make sure that this never runs out. So we're trying to let this accumulate. I probably want to analyze this as well. And we might as well start cleaning this up on this side. Some of the ice right there, we should just let melt. And then the pressure here is not too bad. It's in grams. I do want to lower my CO2 levels though. That's something I really want to do. Now that we have cooling here, the oxygen is cool. So I should be able to start putting some vents to start pressurizing the area. So I have one right here. Because this is going to act as a hallway. We're not going to put doors there. So that's going to be fine. And the second one is going to be right in front of uh, my living area. So one right here, one right there. Just release some oxygen. Coming from my uh, polluted dirt setup. Y'all know what it is. P-dirt. Alright, so that should be fine. And then we'll start pumping it. Well, hmm. I guess once the oxygen starts pressurizing, it will push everything down. And I think that's what I need. So I think what we'll be doing over here is making our first... Uh, do I have pinch pepper nuts? That's actually a good question. Pinch uh, pepper nuts. 71 seeds. Uh, so there's a coffee machine that I might want to make because it gives you plus one running speed, the espresso machine. And we gotta use pinch pepper nuts, okay. The playthrough is looking really great, dude. Very clean, thank you, iBuzzly. Guys, so because of how it's like, we're not really having that bad of a time, I think the next one we're gonna do is gonna do max difficulty. So in the sliders of this game, we could increase the stress, the oxygen generation, and all of that, right? How much stress they get, how much food goes, uh, how much food they need to eat, and all that. So I might do like a max difficulty run. But uh, do you guys have any uh, recommended or, I guess, asteroid starts that you guys want to see? People in chat immediately here. Is there an asteroid that you want to see me uh, play through? Of course, you guys are probably going to be like, oh man, radioactive ocean. <laughs> we want to see that. I'm like, dude, you're going to give me radiation that early? Dude, it's going to be a nice time. <laughs> I'm getting Radbolt Rocket by Cycle 250. <laughs> that would be such a meme, dude. Just get the Radbolt Rocket hella early. F Magma. Uh, so, are you saying flipped asteroid? Are you saying flipped asteroid, Kekun? 
because that's the one where the magma is flipped to the top. So I can't get into space without going through the magma. If that's the one, that's that's one of the more difficult ones. And uh, Radioactive Ocean is uh, another max difficulty one. Badlands still a thing. I don't know. We get the Badlands biome right here all the time now. There, it might be. It might be called something else. It might be called something else. Maybe not exactly Badlands. Okay, so Keikun says flipped asteroid max difficulty. We could see. We could see about that. That could be a thing we could look into. Don't mind, don't mind. Uh, let's just put 100 seeds here of Arbory Corns. Probably don't need more than that. Is there a lava one? Yes, it's called the Flipped Asteroid, Ghost Rider. That's the one where they take the magma that's at the bottom of the map, typically, right here. And they move that to the top, where your space ice is going to be. So right here, the cold energy... Instead of having that, it's magma. <laughs> so we're going to have to break through the magma to get the space. Now, I think they also give you a miniature space biome right here. I don't know if that's good enough to do a little bit of space research. But I'll probably... It looks like it's flipped asteroid, huh? Okay. If that's a consensus, we'll try to do that as max difficulty. I might struggle a little bit, but I think that's probably good. Since it's going to be uh, a change of pace. If I start struggling a little bit, right? I feel like that's a good idea. Alright, so this is pushing down, and that's because of the oxygen pressure, and that's great. So, normal objectives, just getting all three, right? So nothing too crazy, right? Just do all three objectives. Don't do anything uh, to add to the difficulty. Because it's going to be my first max difficulty run. I've actually never attempted max difficulty before, so I might be in for a treat. Like, I won't be used to how fast the calories go down. I won't be used to uh, how much stress is going to be generated. I might have to change up a little bit of my play style, but it should be fine. Oh... I think I could put all of the pixel packs on this power line, even though it says 4,000 on it. That's because it's never going to have all the suits charging at the same time. At most, it's going to be 480. And then I'm looking at the line. We have another 480. And then it's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 20. So that's what, 500, 980 plus 120. That's 1,100. I actually could put the rest of that on that. So I think I will go for that. And then we'll just have that connect like so. What if there was a mod that allowed you to crop big chunks of builds and click and drag them so you didn't have to delete and rebuild every time you make and it all lined up look fancy? That'd be dope. Uh, I, I, dude, that's, that's sounding like Move It, dude, from uh, City Skylines. Have you heard of Move It before? Do you play Cities? If we have any Cities fans in chat, that's exactly what iBuzzly is uh, describing. <laughs> make, make a uh, make a Move It mod for Oxygen Not Included. Someone give a Q-Boy a shout. See if you could do it, man. <laughs> Real time, just drag things around. That's kind of wild. I don't know if the game has the capabilities of doing something like that, but that'd be kind of interesting. There's three, there's four here. All right, I'll take the 58 guy. Isn't Blueprint Mod broke? I don't know. I don't use it. I'm not familiar with the mod, to be honest. Alright, so the skill scrubber is going to be gone. We're no longer going to be needing that. Although we are powering this, I will actually use that on a different power line. So that I could dedicate this one to be a little bit more of what I want it to be. So, for making this cleaner looking, we're going to do it like that. And then remove this power wire. And then we'll have this go to the back, where we're going to power, I think, two soda fountains. A couple of other things for the uh, the duplicates. Alright, so we have, I think I want at least two soda fountains, right? So that's about a thousand watts. Probably with the light, it's going to be a little bit more. 
and then I could put in a jukebox. Arcade cabinet cost too much. 1.2k. Espresso machine is another 480. That's actually not bad. I just don't have pinch of pepper nuts. I could try to grow it though. But it's probably not worthwhile. I'll probably just go with a jukebox and have some uh, soda fountains in the back. So, one, two, one, two. And then let's build some uh, statues. Probably use the large marble box. And then pedestals. And they have one tile right here to do something. I probably should put some pixel packs here as well. It works! Oh, nice, Ghost Rider. So, what should I have here? I mean, I guess I should pixel pack the entire room. Alright, so we're out of glass. That's what it looks like. Well, looks like we gotta make some more glass. Need to make sure we have that rolling. Alright. So, there should be no uranium on the reactor. Yep, that's fine. And then we have water. Alright, man. Safety save. We all know how, what happens, man. If a reactor, you know, blows up, it's not gonna be a fun time. So let's turn this on. Uh, for now, we're gonna do one unit, and I believe that's only one kilogram, right? Oh, there's no power there yet. Let's wait for the water to get there first before we turn on the power. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Whoops. Gotta go this way, man. Well, it's fine. It could go into there. We don't need data banks too much anymore. We are at, what? Only the hydrogen rockets, the last thing? Yeah. We do need data banks to finish, but I think we're looking fine in terms of research. Alright, so let's get the water in. We'll start charging our stuff. Let's look on the inside. This should be oxygen on a little bit slight priority. We'll take the plastic on that tile. There's probably going to be a flat door over here. Alright, so room-wise, this is a barracks. That's fine. This is our miscellaneous. Oxygen is in. We could probably put in the hand sanitizer here. And then... What's the other room I want? It's probably going to be a mess table, right? Get a uh, meal hall in here. Mess hall. I could build that without the ladder. And then furniture is double mess table. And then we'll use the party phone line. And then this is 9, 11. Okay, so it would be like this. Let's actually move that down. So it'll be like that. And then this room doesn't matter. Well, good thing about a base full of PL2 slime lung is that you could dig slime lung slime without any worry. This is true. This is 100% true. <laughs> it's no problem, man, if something like that happens. Uh, let's see. I'll probably want kitchen storage. And then I'd probably want a pedestal if I want to grab uh, artifacts. And then I need a storage bin for the items. I probably want to replace that with this though. Move this over. All right. So looking at this, mess hall, barracks, and then we'll get a washroom here. The moment we have a uh, hand sanitizer finished. We're not going to put anything on the pedestal. And then we'll just have to fill up the fridge once we're ready. And then the last thing we'll need is... Ah, wall sockets. That's right. 
So we're going to need the power outlet fitting. And that's going to be for the party line. Outside of that... Oh, no, it's going to be for the telescope. So that's 120 watts. We'll have that go like that. It's probably going to go up to here. I want to get above 2,000 if possible. I guess I could put that on the edge. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I could do that here. Oh, that's right. And then I could have another one here. All right, we'll put that there for now. Because we'll go like this. Oh, that doesn't work. Yeah, it has to go like that. All right, we'll put the party line on there. This is also going to be grounded so the dupes don't start eating here or something like that. This is going to drop down to 15 kilograms, and we will put the berry sludge, because we are making it. Alright, that's going to be max priority, so that they will actually move it to the right storage, and this is going to drop to 8. Uh, I should copy this berry sludge in the back. We'll copy this to here, and then we'll copy this to here, so that these drop into the first one. A lot of chlorine. I should probably just put my slime in there, dude. <laughs> That's probably such a good move. Move the slime into here, and then just uh, have the slime have the germs killed in the room. What a strat. Alright, we'll move two of the grub eggs down to the bottom. I hope they're not cramped. They seem fine. They seem fine. All right, all right. So the water is there. We made the delivery. And let's see. One kilogram. That's actually not a lot. So how much power is this? Oh, it's going to be nighttime soon. Oh, but we're going to get we're going to get the first shots off. Uh, and we're out of uranium. <laughs> Alright, five kilograms at a time. That's a half cycle. That's a half cycle right there. Alright, gonna get the first charges. Let's go. Cheese strats for the win. New printables. And glass. That's always nice. Dude, the grub grub's coming out. Such a good feeling. Oh, don't grab from the inside, please. Alright, the moment this is charged, we're going to be ready. Or should be ready. And then, uh... That's a new, that's a new bucket. Oh, a little bit of chlorine. That's fine. I think this is good. I guess we will put the storage bin here. Should be fine. And, yeah. This is going to be ready. We could do a little bit of telescoping in here for scouting, and then we'll find, uh, search the map. I probably want to make a copy of this rocket, to be honest, because I probably want to have two astronaut sets going out, doing a little bit of searching. So we'll copy the design. So we want that with power. We'll use iron. And then above that, we'll have artifact transport. Two solar panels, and then the uh, basic nose cone. Oh, that's raw. We'll use ceramic. There we go. Dude, that's not bad. It's half charged already. And we are out of uranium. Alright, let's go for the full cycle. That's only five, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to make up the difference. All right, cool. That's another half cycle, which is fine. All right, all right. So the oxygen is pretty high. Let me uncheck that. Outside of that, the storage bins, if I need to bring resources, which I don't, if I'm just going to be scouting, and then I'll be setting this up. So, bam. Bam, one, two, three, something like that. 
plumbing, wall toilet. Got the plastic four. That goes out to there. Furniture, double ladder bed. Three tiles. Get the doors out. One, two, three. Tile there. We need a ladder here. Rocketry telescope. Rocketry power outlet fitting. Gas canister emptier. Uh, pedestal. Might as well build that now. And then... Bridge inside. And we'll wait for this to finish. I guess we could rebuild the uh, control station in here. Dude, we are charging, man. We are charging. <laughs> That's a good feeling. And the power is slightly going down. Okay. We're going to add a hamster wheel. <laughs> We're going to have to add a hamster wheel. I hope this doesn't overload. So it pulls potentially 20 to 90. We're not pulling anything extra right now. So I guess that's fine. And then anytime it does release one, it's going to be for a second, and it doesn't actually uh, continuously drag. So we shouldn't overload. So I think that's fine. I may want to add some more solar panels here. So one, two. Ah, oh, so close. I guess that's fine for now, though. And then we'll just set up that line like that for some additional power. Can't wait for the sunlight to kick on. Because, <laughs> man, oh man, this is struggling. Oh, we're running the wheel? It doesn't even help. It doesn't even help. Don't you guys hate this, man? Power is diminishing. And the battery life just keeps going down. Now we're waiting for the sunlight to kick on a little bit stronger. Is it no more radiation? And of course. Let's go for another cycle. Oh, we're almost finished charged. Oh, that's fast. That's actually really fast. We're going to have to go to that one next, but that's fine. Oh, break even. Power is not actually going down anymore. Good stuff. It's going up. Nice. So we hold enough power that we could have this run continuously. And then during the day, I think we generate enough. Oh, we got overload damage. Ah, oh, it actually happened. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. It really do. Why does it go up sometimes? I'm actually not sure. It would have to be this one. And them delivering the... No. Yeah, I don't understand why I would overload. Oh, it's going to that one already. Okay, so... What are we missing here? I think we could go, right? Okay, so who are my pilots? We have eight rocket pilots. Cyberdyne with the 21 required, or Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow with the eight. And then he could be a data analysis guy too. Uh, do I have a pure science guy? That's actually what I would look for. Because I don't need to do research at home. Oh, but I also don't want a rocket pilot to go. My science guys are, are freaking rocket guys, man. Feels bad. Ace cow. Oh, I'm sending Tanit. Okay, so it's Tanit. And Mr. Arrow Capital Fell. Alright. And... Ooh, don't get hit by that. Oxygen is good. Oh, we need water. Ha. I almost sent them without bathroom water. My bad, my bad. Uh, it's probably going to be... Oh, let's make that insulated. I don't want the pipes to melt or anything like that. All right. So we'll just get the water from this line. Oh, headshot. Ghost Rider. I'm sorry, man. He's got zapped. Holy crap. 
My bad, Ghost Rider. Take a little bit of damage. My bad, my bad. Alright, so once we get the bathroom water in, I think we're going to be able to do our first launch. And hmm, there is something here. I don't know if I want to go that way, though. There's two objects on this side, and it's about the same travel distance. Oh, colony achievement. What do we get? A hey, 100 tune-ups. Nice. And rad bolt travel. Okay, not bad. I guess we're making that many rad bolts then. All right, all right. Yeah, the oxygen is pushing down. That's a great sign. I need the rest of this. Good, good. And then let me get the uh, power wire to get up there. So this is 40. So four, six, eight. I probably pulled this off of the the suit line right here, realistically. Because that actually might overload. <laughs> if I have the pixel packs at the bottom uh, actually running. So we'll do it like that. This is almost finished charging. I wish the reactor had an automatic output for the automation. You guys see how it's auto input? I wish that they had an output where if this is running, it sends a signal to turn on the rad bolt generators. That's one thing I would love to have. But I believe there's a radiation sensor, right? Maybe you could use this instead. Oh, rad bolts? Not actual radiation? Oh, no, it's this one. I guess I have to use this. Hey, what's going on, Half Pint? How are you today? How is the days? How is the Tuesdays? You doing all right, man? How are we today? We, we, we're going to be uh, going in deep into space, hopefully. We did a little bit of prep. We made uh, our sleet wheat farm. We have our bristle blossoms right here. Now we're going to be trying to stockpile a little bit of berry sludge. And with that, we're going to be uh, trying to explore the star map finally. Looking for the areas I need to go to to beat the game. I'm good. Thank you. I see you, uh, Hebelak. I'm not going to lie, Hebelak. I didn't even see you there. But hey, welcome on in. I didn't see your first message. If you did say something earlier, very sorry. But yo, man, good to have you here. Thank you for the follow. And yes, I agree. It would always be better if it was Friday. <laughs> no, the little pip. Oh, I forgot to build ladders. Oh my god. He's just been planning all the arbor trees. Oh my god. I forgot to put the ladders in, boys. Messed up. With nuclear, I super compress nuclear waste to make rads. And I hear long time no see. What's going on, FRD Don? How have you been, man? That's a good strat. I have done that before. And you, you got to combine it with the uh, corner rad bolts, right? That's I've seen that design. I've done it before. Where you build the uh, rad bolt generator like this. And then you have this be a uh, infinite pressure tank. And then you could shoot the rad bolt diagonally. <laughs> Yeah, man. That, that's a good strat. That's a good strat. I'm just going to cheese it, though. I don't want to deal with that. I want to have a uh, simple design. You know, less work. What's going on, Mobile Frog? Hope you're doing well. So that that's the idea. That's the idea. Now, we're not going to be rolling it, though. <laughs> we're not going to be rolling it just yet. We're just going to... Ooh! Purple polyester. I'm taking this. All right, so we got a new we got a new uh, new outfit. D twenty. We rolled a twelve. 
All right, so we go to skills. We start from the top. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Wow, Quinn. This guy's not taken. Okay. He, he gets the purple polyester. Why not? Last time, I just edited frozen nuclear waste to make rads. I was bored. Yo, what a guy. <laughs> what a guy, FRD Bond. I see you over there, man. Sometimes, man, when you're bored, you gotta do a little bit of mad scientist experiments, man. And that's what Oni's actually great for, in my opinion. The mad scientist stuff you can do in this game, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. What you been up to, FRD Dot? And the people of chat, man. Is there any video game you guys are pogging about recently, man? I'm curious. Are there any video games you guys are pogging about? Whether it's early access or it's already out. All balloons, tower defense. Those are fun if you're in the mood for tower defense, but I feel like I can't stream that on it regularly. Looking for video games to uh, explore into right now. I have balloons TD. Loons TD6, I think that's the one I have. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, uh, you know, gotta be in the mood for it. V Rising has been going on for a bit, but it's limited. What's V Rising? That's the, uh, that's the first person shooter. Speedy V. I've seen, and this is, this is, I think I've seen a lot of people play that recently. I played V Rising. What's going on, Rambo? I see you over there. Wait, 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 so V Rising is the vampire game, right? That's, uh, Vampire Builder? So, so, so can someone explain to me? It's like Ark with vampires. Wait, 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 Ark, though, is you're, aren't you like a human and you're taming dinosaurs? So in, in V Rising, are you a human trying to tame vampires? How's that work, man? It's not really. I watched some Captain of Industry V Rising. It's like a Diablo with vampires. It's like League of Legends fighting style. So it's it's an action RPG then, right? It's an action RPG. That's that's probably the best way to describe that type of uh, playstyle. Action RPG. You have skills you use, and uh, for the most part, you know, you kind of just uh, do what you can. You gotta have like dodge moves rolling out and then you have to go in and out maybe correct human taming vampires wait what wait no you're a vampire trying to slave humans wait i'm, I'm confused you guys said the opposite things man mess with iron lung Hyrule made an interesting video about it. If you're into scary games, he calls it one of the best horror games there is. I'm not really a fan of that. The horror genre. And I don't really have a community for that anyways. I won't be playing that. Yes, with building towns. Wait, you could build towns in V Rising? That's interesting. So you're a vampire. And you have to build a castle while upgrading your gear. And fighting humans and bosses to unlock things to make. Well, we'll offer tonight. Wish you all a good night and have fun. We'll see you next time, Killer Renee. Thank you for stopping by, man. And hope you have a good one. That This is not V Rising. You are 100% a vampire. Okay, okay. You have to feed on blood and stay out of light. Not sure what kind of humans have this issue. Uh, We will call those people uh, Monitor Tan Warriors. Yes. I believe that's what they're called. The light's too bright for them. They feast on the tears of their enemies. Maybe not the blood, though.
I'll see you over there, though. Alright, so... Let me check this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the uranium is gone. That's good. Roofbreaker got a new DLC? Eh, I feel like Roofbreaker is kind of dead. Nothing against it, though. Oh, I can't... I can't actually climb up. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Uh, can I build the automation on this tile? That's actually fine, then. Oh, it works. Nice. Okay, so that's all I need. So we will do this. Like that. And then I make it so that we can't repair all the uraniums inside this loader so they can't rob me and put it into here. And this is off. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Wife and I played a PvP server and I got to the end, but servers kinda die off. Oh, that sucks. There's new content in Raft. See, I'm not a fan of Raft because the last of phobia, open water, sharks coming out to bite you. Not a fan of that, man. Not a fan of that. Uh, don't worry, Mobile Frog. I know what I'm doing. Obviously, though, you don't understand what I'm doing. <laughs> there's, there's nothing to worry about here. Nothing. I'm doing what's called a cheese strat. Don't worry, man. I got this. All right, so these are off. Rabble decay, it's fine. I really enjoyed the launch for Atlas, as shitty as it was. Those first few weeks were great. Atlas, Atlas. Atlas was the guy that was punished by, uh, what is it, Zeus? To have the world on his shoulders, and he had to carry it or something. It was an Ark reskin. Oh, that's Atlas. Feels bad. It's the Ark reskin. Feels bad, man. It was fun till I had tanks from another game drop on my head. <laughs> tanks from another game? That sounds like Arma, dude. Sounds like you're playing modded Arma. Alright, we're ready. Uh, do we have our food inside? 15 kilograms? Yeah, we are. So, we're set. So, we have 20 tiles travel distance. I want to go here probably to scan this out. We could technically just teleport and use a uh, telescope ourselves to do this, but I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to do that. We're just going to use the rad boat rocket. Crew, and we'll launch. We should be fine here. Uh, automation here is good now. And I shouldn't have to worry then, which means I should be able to lock this again. Now, I don't really need the charge, though. I guess I wouldn't mind. So we'll put in one cycle worth of uh, uranium for now. Limit reached. Did we actually ship? No, oh, there it is. So we put that there. 10 kilograms. Radiation turns on. These turn on. Nice. Since there's radiation, we start charging. We're going to start absorbing rad bolts on this one. Good stuff. None of the heat got to here. And then the uranium is fine. I may want to actually go get some more uranium. But I guess for now we're going to be okay. So I want to make sure we're all good. We have oxygen. Can't... Geeks inside? Geek, what the fuck are you doing inside? Oh my god, we're going home. <laughs> we have an extra dupe in here for no reason. What the hell? Someone snuck on board, dude. There were supposed to be only two duplicates. Alright, man, what happened? Wait. How did... Oh, Geek got selected. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> that's so stupid. Alright, I want to charge this rocket again. Oh, my God. Someone snuck on board, dude. They put himself on the wait list. Skips the queue. You hate to see it. Alright, one more shot, and we should be good. Dupes do exactly what you tell them. Seems legit. 
All right, so with that... I think we could slide this to max now. What is on this power line that draws power? Oh, the sieve! It's actually the sieve causing issues. I didn't even think about this. When the water leaves, we have to replace it. Yeah, so I gotta actually change this and put the sieve on the bottom power line. That actually makes more sense. So we'll do it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta do that. Alright, let me change that really quick. Uh, they're still processing uranium, it's fine. Why do they do this? <laughs> Yo, man, it really do be yourself sometimes. You set yourself up for disaster. Sometimes you set yourself up for disaster. Alright, so now I go like that. And then I could go like this. And then with that, I could go like this. And then that upgraded line doesn't matter. So that's going to be off of the line now. So I should be fine. Cthulhu knows what's up. He does, man. Cthulhu is sleeping all the time. In the ocean. Known as space. Harvesting the databanks. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. That's the truth, dude. Alright, we should be good now. So let's go... Well, I gotta wait for them to board so that's easier to find the duplicates I'm looking for. Alright, we should be good now. Should be good now. Uh, oh yeah, this is the new line. So we're going to cut this. This is going to connect to here. We are going to remove the extra wire. This comes out and connects. As it should. And then this goes to the bottom. Nice. Now we probably want... Oh, I forgot. I needed to add canister emptiers in here. Oh, that's right. Uh, how do I want to do this? I could add this in, but I'm not a fan of this. Plumbing does take time, and this is automatic. Yeah, I guess it is what it is. So we'll remove these two, and we'll do a setup. Kind of like that. Let's remove those as well. There's nothing inside. That's just pipeline. Should be good. So let me put the door here. I should be able to stand on the door. Just in case I can't, I'll put a ladder. Take the fertilizer. Yeah, I, I think they could stand up there. I just think the corner is the only one they can't touch. Oh, look at them dancing. Hey, doing the Carlton dance. Everyone in a different colored shirt, man. That's a good time. Cat Jam. Does everyone refer to that dance as a Carlton dance? Or am I the only one that does that? Oh, this is a three? Ah, crap. I thought this was a two by two. It really do be yourself sometimes. <laughs> really do be yourself sometimes. I thought that was a three, man. It wasn't. Oh, oh, made a mess. How did you make a mess? Oh, it's a glitch. They didn't have... Oh, my God. How far am I? Wait, what? We never launched... We never launched. Oh my god. Okay, change your suit. Change the suit. God damn it, man. I keep messing up. 
it's not unusual to call it the Carlton. I see you over there, man. I see you over there. What, what was the guy's name that sang that song? Uh, uh, damn. I was gonna say George Michael, but it's not. Alex Jones? Tom Jones. Tom Jones. I thought it was Alex Jones for some reason. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to be loved by everyone. Na 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 na. Something, something, something. Music stream? Hell no, man. Gonna get DMCA'd because of my immaculate singing skills. Remove the suit in the rocket. You have oxygen in the rocket now. I do, but I I don't want to put it inside. It's fine. Because if the suit was worn out, I can't put it back on and he's kind of screwed. So you'd never want to remove a suit inside. Hey, I see FPC. I see you over there, man. Howdy. How you doing, FPC? How was the days today? How was your Tuesdays, man? Hope you're doing all right. Nah, 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 nah. That's, that's, uh... That's my immaculate singing skills. It'd be like that sometimes, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. You gotta let the people know sometimes. Enjoying the summertime. Dude, are you having nice weather where you're at, FPC? I'm hearing a lot of people, they're, they're dying in the heat, dude. Hey, Uglar Vis coming in with a gift sub to Half Pint. Yo. Congrats, Half Pint, on getting a gift sub. Enjoy the emote, D29 snap reviewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Thank you so much for all your support. It's finally hot, yo, man. Are you, are you doing okay over there? You got Y'all have AC, man? It's awesome in Washington. It's the new Cali. You can't claim yourself to be the new Cali when uh, we import water from you guys, man. That's all I'm saying. You can't be Cali if you generate your own water. You know what I'm saying? Cali's a desert, baby. If you're claiming that you guys, y'all have, you know, <laughs> you're claiming that y'all okay with that, man. I don't believe it. I see you over there, though, man. There's too many spiders up there. And there's uh, too much rain, dude. Maybe like 1990s, Cali. Where, you know, we used to get El Nino and all the uh, summer storms. Y'all remember those days, man? Any Californians in chat remember El Nino? That was a, that was a time, man. That was a time. Alright, so that's connected. That's connected. Now we need to set up the automation. And I'll move the automation to the outside, because why not? It's probably going to be a timer sensor. It makes the most sense. Heck yeah. Doesn't that come like every four years? No, it used to be the summer storm we get every year. But ever since uh, something happened in the ocean current, we stopped getting the uh, summer storm that is known as El Nino. Oh, dude, the bathrooms are packed. Oh my god. Uh, 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 God, how do I want to deal with this? <laughs> I forgot that I had some water issues. I got to get rid of some of the water right now that we have. Oh, I could just, I could just release it this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that temporarily. Have that exit out that way. So that we could just, you know, use up all the uh, polluted water in the toilets. And this will feed out into our spa. Yeah, the shitter's full, dude. Shitter's full. I gotta release some of the waters. Holy crap. Alright, so now that the suit's changed, I could finally do a launch, right? <laughs> Please. All right. And then once we process all the pee water, I should have a good buffer again. 
my oxygen here is going down. All right, we're going to release all the water from here to go out this way for a little bit. Because it looks like no one's using this for a while, which is fine. All right, so we didn't get the pipeline in. The expansion is done, so we got to do that. We got to bring in the pipeline, probably like that. And then we'll come in from this. And then we'll just have that built. Get the corner. Get the canister filler. And then have that be straightforward. Not too bad. We'll have some soda. F uh, oh, we don't have water. Uh, damn it. I don't have cold water. Are you guys okay with warm soda? Does anyone in chat like warm soda? That's such a crazy thing to ask. <laughs> Does anyone in chat like warm soda? Is that? Do we have any warm soda enjoyers? <laughs> As a kid, I used to like flat soda because you would just taste the sweetness. And it's kind of crazy. But at the same time, I was like, you know, it's fine. It's just warm soda. And then it's like, as I grew older, I started to be like, you got to have a cold. I have a friend who drinks hot water. That's actually good for your body. Uh, your body does better drinking warm or hot water because that's closer to the internal temperature of your body. And I right, these guys. Okay. And that makes it so that your body doesn't go through that type of shock, if that makes sense. Like, of, you know, having to deal with the uh, coldness of the water. Well, it's not, I guess, hot water is better than cold water. But I think warm water is, like, a little bit better than hot. Depending on how hot it is. I know a guy, though, I see a Rambo. He doesn't enjoy cold drinks at all. Hmm. Even on a hot summer day, most weird stuff IMO. I mean, the dupes get the same morale bonus, uh, whatever the temp. That's true. That's true. Ice water and iced tea, please. You don't have tea leaves discovered. Sorry about that, Rambo. Hot drinks in the summer and cold in the winter. Wait, really? Cushman, you do that? No way. You actually do that? Does that mean you eat ice cream in the winter only? Does it have to use energy to warm it up? Makes sense. Not my cup of tea. Uh, I see you over there, FPC. I see you over there. Some, some, something, something too astringent. The astringency is a little bit too high for the homie FPC. I once had an ice cold glass of water after I had been working out in the heat all day and it shocked my body and I passed out. Wow. Really? Really? That's impressive. Ice cream all day, every day. Never a bad day for ice cream. You know, would you guys put ice cream in the same category as like tacos and pizza in the fact that they're almost universally loved by every culture? Would you guys say that? Ice cream, pizza, tacos. Like those three items, I don't think I've ever met a person that didn't like it. Or some variant of it. Like, I've seen people that don't like, you know, tacos, but they eat, like, fish tacos. So they don't eat it with, like, the actual, you know, traditional proteins. You know, pork, beef, stuff like that. And then there's, like, so many different combinations. Pizza. And then I'm thinking ice cream, you know, you put it in there, man. Ever notice how hotter climate areas always tend to have spicier food than colder regions? So I, I've read about that. I read that there's uh, certain regions where they actually serve spicy food in the summer because it forces you to sweat from the spice, which cools down your body overall. It's just It just feels like torture, though. Like, just imagining doing something like that. Yeah, I drank cold Gatorade once when uh, working hard in the sun. It didn't go well. Got heat exhausted, threw up all the Gatorade. Oh, damn, that's tough. For me, uh, food is three categories. Ice cream, cheese, and everything else. <laughs> Fan of the cheese, huh, FPC? I see you over there. A taco is a Mexican sandwich. No. There's actually a Mexican sandwich. It's called a torta. I'm sorry, man. 
you, you got to check it out, though. It's it's actually made with bread. It helps regulate body temperature in the climate. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. But it's like it's it sounds weird. Eat something hot on a hot summer day. It sounds counterintuitive. We've gone back to acquired taste. It's always full circle, man, dude. Life finds a way, man. Life finds a way. It was uh, the red kind too, so I'm sure it was like I was dying. To my go, you spat out something red fluid. Oh, yo, call the ambulance! <laughs> oh man, it's meat, cheese, sauce, and a taco. Literally, what goes in a sandwich? Wait a second. There's no cheese in tacos. You're talking about the American tacos, Rambo. We're not talking about those type of tacos. For me, it's it's tortilla, the meat of choice, and then onion, cilantro, and then salsa. Right? And then I would say that it's also different in that the ingredients are cooked and not fresh ingredients, typically. Street talk, I, 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 I see the differentiation. Yeah, Mexican sandwich is the torta. That's what I said earlier. That, that's like, there's actually a Mexican sandwich. So it's like, to call a taco a sandwich is just... It's just weird. No, 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 no. It's preserved and not cooked. That's different. Cured. Right? Deli meats. They're usually preserved. Cooked in a way, bro. But it's not cooked over a fire. It's, it's just put into salt. <laughs> You just you just salt brine it. Turkey. Technically, no, yeah, that's cooked. But the turkey deli meat you buy at the store is technically added some stuff to it. Chicken breast sandwich. Any deli meat you buy at the store, ham is also cooked. I guess you're right. But I refuse the idea that taco is a sandwich. That's just fundamentally wrong. Even though you're trying to be technically correct, I, I just don't follow suit. You could try to be technically correct all you want, but I'm not going to give a damn about it. <laughs> it was like, okay, that's fine. But I, I don't really care about that. Don't put stuff in... What do you mean? Don't put stuff in the tortilla? What do you mean? Are you talking about like a stuffed tortilla? Alright, we're gonna have to put some... Uh, red and black for the diners. Johnny Rockets. Make it look like in and out That could be a thing. Oh, we're already scanning. That's not bad. Okay, so this is auto-off. That's nice. The rad bolts, not fully charged, but that's okay. Yeah, so I do have to do something with the water. Uh, let's release 500. So it's going to release and take priority over the polluted water. So as long as we consume the water, we'll be fine. So we'll go back down to five units. And that should allow us to consume a little bit more water, which should be fine. So what are you talking about, Rambo? Stuff in the tortilla? I'm curious, man. And what 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 about the actual sandwich? What about the actual sandwich that's known as the torta? How do you feel about that? Actually, something that is a sandwich. It's actually... What? That's a thick tortilla made with cornmeal. What are you talking about? So is hot dog an American taco? Uh, a hot dog's a hot dog, man. See, Ramble's trying to come in with the uh, controversial questions. Like, 
is cereal soup. Right? Is, is, uh... <laughs> is, uh... Is a vodka on ice, a vodka on the rocks, is that a ice salad? <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know, man. We, we, we venturing off into weird territory at this point. It's out there, man. It's out there. So, so what are you talking about? What do you mean? Uh, don't put stuff in the tortilla? Like, what do you mean? Made with cornmeal. Wait, what? What's happening, man? What are you talking about? I'm trying to understand. Alright, so let's get into the patterns. Uh, red. Okay. I guess this red. And then we want to do a checkerboard pattern. Red and black. And then we want to have it be opposite. Wait. All right, we'll do white. Why not? They just took a bite of tortilla and a bite of something else and they rarely filled them. No, yeah, that's 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 how you would eat it if you were to uh, not make a taco. You don't always have to make a taco. Right, you got to understand a lot of the food in the culture is a lot of the times just the same ingredients, just prepared a different way. And that way that they eat is the same way I eat when I go to El Pollo Loco and I get a pollo bow, it's a chicken bowl with rice and there's beans in it and onions. And I just eat that with a spoon and I have tortillas in my left hand. And I just take a bite of tortilla. It's just another method of eating. It doesn't mean that's a traditional method or anything like that. It's just, you know, a different preparation style. Right? And that's fine. There's nothing wrong about that. I I want to say that's false. <laughs> I want to say that's false. That in their culture that you, you're not supposed no that's not true it's i think that's more of a convenience thing for when they're eating lunch like if you were to actually prep it up it's just more work that's false man like i i get you you know you had your co-workers do that and you know you work with them for a long time i get that that's the experience you had but you can't use that to apply to everyone Oh, yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. And it's, it's, it's just more convenient to eat it that way. It's less mess. That's, that's also fine, dude. Like, <laughs> I live, I li oh, man, I live in a... I live in Cali, and 70% of the population here is, at least where I'm at, is Mexican. And I have some Mexican friends. And that's literally how they explained it to me. It's like, yeah, it's a lot of the times, it's whatever you're convenient with. Like a burrito just makes it so that you can eat it with one hand, right? Not have anything fall out. Or you could just have it in a bowl if you're lazy to prep and just have tortillas on the side, right? And, and it's right, it's just really up to you. Right? It's not that that's the correct way to eat it. It's just one of the many ways to apply it. I, I don't, I don't want to have like 
<laughs> I don't want to have that kind of oh that's the proper way no that's the proper way well but you said culture is not to fill most of the time when you make a statement like that I'm just kind of like okay that's 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 uh I don't know if that's true. I, I don't I don't know man. Rambo, I see that you're, you know, very set on how, how that view is. That's fine, you know? And it's just that I, I don't I don't believe that to be the case. So we'd agree to disagree, you know. Just have that be. Yeah, that's cool, man. It's perfectly fine. I like your apartment setup, especially with the little plants. Gotta have a garden for the people. Gotta have a garden for the people. I was thinking about putting some hanging plots here too. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I don't have transparent diamond, so I can't build it. I was gonna say, why Why don't they show me the icon? I guess we could use regular hanging plots. Arrow pots would be nicer though. I don't think we do double plants like that. That's a little bit too much. I probably do some molding. And we'll come up with the granite. Just because we want that decor. 20%, this goes up to six. I guess it's not bad. Gotta decorate it, boys. All right, all right. So we're going to be waiting for these guys to get there. We're scanning. Oh, there's a cluster right here. This is probably four points of interest. Most of the time, they're not going to give us like asteroids uh, right next to a POI like that. They probably give you the uh, purple ring so that it's isolated. That probably means that this is a POI since if we had the purple ring, we wouldn't notice. And ah, man, I want to say that about that as well, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, so those guys should be okay. And let's see. The next thing we should try to go into. I want to get the grub grubs, but they're okay. We could do this. And then after that. Oh. Uh, so that's what? No power. Hold up. Wow, I'm running out of power. Oh, it's because this is running. Did I mess up something? Is there a gas here? Vacuum. Vac. Okay, so there's no element there. Okay, so there's no heat transfer. Okay, we'll just turn it on for the while then. Very quickly. That's not too bad. Okay, okay. That's fine. This is fine. I need to do something about the water. Oh, is it because we're only pulling 500 at a time? So it's not letting my water leave? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, that actually means I should bridge this further. So we pull the pipe up and we got to put the bridge up top. That way we could allow the water bubble to kind of force its way in. No, actually, doesn't that not change anything? Because if they're only pulling 500 grams at a time, this would always top it off. Yeah, it actually doesn't do anything. I have to actually just cut the pipe to allow the water to leave. Oh, that sucks, man. That's very unfortunate. I guess that's that's the pain about having a sieve, not pull the full one kill uh ten kilograms. It's only five at a time. Yeah. Alright, so with that, let's start setting this up. Oh, crap. Uh here, 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 here. Alright, so it's red, white, so we go white, red.
And then this is going to be every other. Oh, I messed up. Every time. Copy, paste. What? That was some lag. Hey, we got it, boys. We got the diner. Change it up. Not bad, not bad. And then we'll get some furniture here. Ah, yes. The sweet, sweet paintings. Alright, so we'll go with a triple in between the mess tables. And then we could do the three wine on this. And then we could put some, uh, actually we should do it like that, right? Have it up top. Oh, I can't put it behind. Oh, I could remove this though, of the marble structure. So I would have that there, and then we would have this kind of be empty, I suppose. Hmm. I could technically put the phone line here, since it, it doesn't really matter. We could put the phone line here so that they can have someone to talk to. And then this could be my uh, rec building instead of using the water. It's not bad. It's not bad. Probably should have it near the entrance. And then we could get rid of the water cooler. Then again, I kind of want to put it in the corner. Private conversations. And then we'll just have that there. We'll remove that once we're ready. And then we'll remove the marble block. I don't have a decorator. I don't have anyone doing decorating. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, this is not a good look. I have no decorators. Okay, I think we have a couple of dupes that only have one interest. I believe that to be the case. Yeah, someone like Ghost Rider, who's only a builder. All right, Ghost Rider, you're going to be our decorator today. And we want them to have the skill because the only thing the increased attribute does is speed of which we decorate. So it doesn't really matter too much. So we go to the priorities. We're going to look for Ghost Rider. That's going to be our decorator. There we go. I make art. Yeah, man. We need someone to do it. And we're going to be uh, having you specialize, Ghost Rider. We're sending you to uh, get your master's degree. You know how it is. Gotta have a uh, master's in the arts. Ice asteroid field? Oh, that's not good. I wanted slime. <laughs> I wanted slime and algae. They're not giving that to me. All right, we'll get there though. Now the next thing I think we should make is our algae distiller. Ah, so that's how that would work. That's fine. So stations, no, refinements. And we'll build this out of iron. So the polluted water would just go out to there. That's fine. I will have it four tiles out. Doesn't really matter. And for the most part, I've never built this before. So I have no idea what to expect. This is going to be, we generate polluted water, algae, a little bit of heat. And then the power line should be coming from here. This is a, yeah, we have enough power for that. So we'll have it like this. And then I have slime, but it has germs on it. At the same time, I have a lot of chlorine right here that I really don't need. I could technically just sweep all the slime in. But the problem is, is that I don't have a sensor for germs. I guess a conveyor rail with a germ sensor is the only way. But I don't want to constantly cycle. Um, it might mean that I don't have this be an automatic process. I might just manually do it, which would suck a lot. It would actually suck a lot. Oh, 
achievement. I'll look at that later. And then the polluted water here. I hope that's stacking up high enough. And then... Hmm. Just kill it all at once and be done? Yo, man. I am thinking about that, man. I am thinking about that. You know what? We should. This way I don't have to build anything. So I'm going to select slime. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to these slime bins. And we're going to make this lower priority. So they're going to move all the slime from here. Bring it into here. The slime's going to drop off. The pressure's going to be too high for it to off gas. And then I think we'll be fine. The amount of oil on this tile as well is uh, 100 kilograms. So it's going to stop that from all pressuring as well. The only thing is when we move it out, it's going to start off gassing a little bit. All right, we'll let that be. And then I need to think about my soda fountain water. I am thinking about using the regular water that's just standing around outside. And then start melting ice is what I'm thinking about doing. Melting the ice so that I don't have to deal with it too much. Because I will have ice. I probably won't need the temp shift plates from that. And if I don't, the only other water source is probably from the brine right here. In which I would want to pull from here. This is also not a bad idea, the polluted water, but I need to sieve that. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Wait a second. Uh, if I go inside, if I go into here, the water is clean. There's no germs on it, huh? Okay. And that's because my toilet... Okay. I hope this is not gross to you guys. We're going to be taking our toilet water line... And feeding that into the soda fountains. Perfectly clean. Perfectly safe water, you guys. Trust me. I'm a scientist. Got the lab coat on and everything. We're just going to take, you know, some of the water that happened to go through the toilets and the sinks. And uh, it's going to become soda. It's perfectly fine, you guys. Perfectly fine. Hey, man, I have a question. So I'm doing the whole 100 plus dupe thing and I'm always running low on food. How many stone hatches would I need to have? Food count says 30, but it seems not to be enough. Uh, wait a second. So, you're doing stone hatches. Can you get access to shovels, Ghost Rider? That's, that's the first thing I would ask. Because if you're going to do the 100 dupe challenge, the most efficient way is going to be with shovels, if you can. But, yeah, 30 is very low. Because you are not going to be able to, uh... 8 million hats. <laughs> you need like 300. Yeah, it's like 30 is way too low. Way too low. So the problem with that is that they're probably assuming that you start off with 30. Or maybe you only have 30 breeding at a time. Hmm. But do you want to set to only using hatches as your food source? Because the problem I ran into when I was doing the 100 dupe challenge was that because I was ranching hatches, because I did that, I ran into a lot of lag because I had like 16 different farms of eight hatches on there. Okay, so you're open for other ideas as well, Ghost Rider, but you're starting off with uh, hatches as your main food source in the beginning. Hope I'm getting that right. What's going on, Pain Dragon? Hello to Legit Chat. What a wonderful conversation to hear while eating dinner. We're going to route the toilet water into the soda fountain. Hey, man, Pain Dragon, don't worry. Have you seen the Bill Gates, uh, the Bill Gates scholarship where if you could make like something scientific that helps the environment, he'll pay for like your college or something like that. And some kid made a water filtration device that was able to extract the water out of poop and filter it out so that it's clean and drinkable. And Bill Gates went out and drank the poop water. Hey man, we're doing what that kid did. You guys are just Bill Gates. 
So I need you to have faith like Bill Gates had in that kid. Oh, you were doing shrooms that you ran out of slime. Okay. So... Let's see. So stone hatches... It doesn't matter which hatch you get. It's really just the hatches basically have different diets. They give the same amount of meat. And I believe everything about the hatches are the same. So regardless of the different hatch types, it's just what you feed them. So that being said, if you get a different egg, it doesn't hurt you. And the meat is always 3,200 kcals. So I believe when you have the egg hatch, incubation is 5% base. So looking at that that way, what's, what's the... Uh, I actually don't know the happy. If a hatch was happy. Ghost Rider, could you let me know about that? How much happiness does that improve on the reproduction rate? So when they're tame, groomed, and happy, they have a bonus to how fast to lay an egg, right? Do you know what percentage that is total? Ghost Rider, could you let me know? Because you go through what? Each hatch basically becomes 4,000 kcals. So each hatch is basically enough food for four dupes every time they die. And most of the time, you're going to have to have a breeding room and then a kill box. So your breeding room is going to be basically a room where you keep your hatches so that they're constantly happy, constantly laying eggs. And then you want a fill-up room too. That's basically something like this where all your extra hatches go in before you kill off all the extra ones after that so that you could always refill your breeding room and keep it topped off. Now, if that's the case, I believe it's 20%? Or is it 15? For the tamed... Is the infinite ranch still viable? Uh... It's viable, but it's not consistent. That's the thing. You're talking about where the hatches dig underground for that, Cushman? It's not consistent. Because the problem with that is... Um, you could do the infinite ranch where they're all there and just buried underground. I believe the problem with that, though, is... They're not going to be as efficient as if you have a non-infinite ranch. But then again, I've never tested the numbers. So I want to say I don't know. No, the one where you tame them all in an open room, you have a ton of tiny space. Oh, that's not viable. I see what you're saying. It's like this. Having all my hatches here, but keeping the door open so that the room size is maximum map size. That's not efficient because you're not going to be able to groom every hatch. Because of how long it takes for you to groom one of the hatches, you need to keep them groomed or else you don't get the reproduction bonus. If you don't get the reproduction bonus, they're the same thing as being wild. So at that point, no, because you can't groom all of them consistently. That's, that's kind of the downside when you have too many hatches in the room. You need to maintain a sweet spot number so that you can keep them all groomed constantly so that you always hit maximum egg chance. Of course, you could always put in uh, things like cuddle pips to help the speed of that as well or uh, incubators but uh yeah you'd never want to do that infinite design because of that you'll end up having your rancher constantly just brushing them and they won't even be able to brush everybody so you'll have tame critters that are going to be eating but not giving you that tame egg chance which means you're just going to bleed out your resources for no reason because if they're not brushed they're unhappy which means they're a wild egg chance and that's usually how that works. So the infinite ranch designs are always not uh, the best thing you could do. All right, speed this up. How is space? Oh God, interstellar ocean. Sandy, oh, algae, algae, nice. Rocky asteroid field, okay. Uh, So how much tile, we have 16 tiles remaining, okay. So... I am going to go 
This is three. Yeah, I'll go this way. And I'm doing that because I want to get to the edge of the map. 17% per cycle. That's what? 33. So that's six cycles. You get an egg. So assuming you don't incubate, hug, cuddle, any of the eggs, that's a 5%. So every six cycles, you get an egg. And then every egg that dies immediately after 20 cycles start. I mean, that's only a buffer, so I don't actually have to account for that. So six cycles, I get an egg. And then each egg feeds four duplicates. Wait, happy 900% reproduction rate? Yo, that's, that's, wait, what? Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. 900% you're not gonna get you're not getting nine eggs a cycle <laughs> you are not getting nine eggs a cycle man what do you mean hold up happy 900% reproduction rate that's that's not correct there's no way that's correct that's that's way too much that's like one hatch basically feeds feeds an army man. I see you over there, but there's no way that's right. So let's let's do the six cycles per egg. So if you have 100 dupes, divide that by four. That's what 25 eggs per day you need breaking. So that means you need to be able to lay 25 eggs per cycle. And given that you lay one egg every six cycles, that means you need to lay uh, six times 25, which is what, 150? So you need about 150 hatches of any kind to feed a duplicate colony of 100. And there is a roughly 25 cycle buffer period before it starts rolling. Assuming everything is perfect, and of course no incubators given the 70% per cycle, I think the math says is around 150 hatches for 100 duplicates. Assuming you also cook the food. That's another thing. Cooking the food gives you extra calories, right? It goes from 32 to 4,000. And then no bottomless stomachs. <laughs> There's like so many things like, well, yeah. In the exact scenario that you don't have any bottomless stomachs, no binge eaters, no one's stressed. You're cooking the food always. Uh, critters are always brushed. <laughs> That ends up being like what? If you have eight hatches per ranch and you need 150 hatches, that's an insane amount, man. Now, the upside of that is that you could probably use a lot of coal power, but if you're going to feed an army of hatches that much, I don't know you could sustain because you're going to eventually run out of minerals. That's, that's the problem with feeding stone hatches. Even though you have a lot of minerals, they will eventually burn through it. Which is kind of the downside. Alright, alright. So, let's start cooking the algaes. So, if you do incubators, it would speed it up right because that's a four factor so you go from uh five percent to 25 percent so instead of yeah instead of 20 cycles it's only five cycles no it's from five percent to 20 percent or is that additional it's either four or five for it to hatch but that doesn't really matter because that just affects how fast you need to, uh, how fast that, or how long that buffer period is, whether it's 20 or if it's not. So it looks like you're going to have to double up at the very minimum. I would recommend trying to get into um, growing one plant and then eventually, or also at the same time, getting Paku. Because technically, you could always just grow something like Mealwood. And then take the seeds to feed the Paku. And that's very efficient. Since the Paku will not eat a entire seed every time they're eating. And then Paku um, eggs hatches in a cycle if you incubate them. 
and they give you, you know, handful of eggs in their time period. Also, you can keep them in a, a water tank. Usually you want to separate them for the breeding ones, but yeah. Paku would be something I would look into if you're doing the 100 tube challenge. It's a good source of food. Okay, so algae distillation. Oh man, the germs are gone. That's impressive. All right, let him go, let him go. All right, so we got the uh, diner in. Oh, what? They canceled my paintings? What happened? Why did they cancel my painting? Guys, we're running into a uh, weird issue. My paintings don't appear anymore. <laughs> I see the blank canvas, incomplete artwork, but for whatever reason, it's behind the pixel pack. So it looks like we're going to have to reset the game really quick. Guys, give me one second. We have a couple of uh, issues with the uh, showing of some of the buildings. I'll be right back. Yeah, that is up and running. I have 168 in the holding tank. The amount in the holding tank doesn't really matter, right? Like, you, you need to go through 25 a day. And the incubation rate is not going to be consistent along all 168. You need 150 active uh, in the breeding room. The amount in the kill box and all the other rooms that you may have doesn't really matter, I don't think. <laughs> Pixel packs are too strong at hiding stuff behind itself. That's true, man. Too strong. For the Paku? No, no, that's for the hatches. That's for the hatches. If you do Paku... Oh, man. Uh, typically, what you would probably want to do with the Paku is... Have a wild set, and then you have a tame set. So that the wild set passively generates, while the tame set generates the amount you need. Oh, you have 168 Paku. Holy... Sh are they all wild? Dude, how did you get that much? Are you playing Classic Start, dude? You are, right? With the 100, 100 tube challenge. That would make more sense. If you do Classic Start. Because you have a lot more resources. You'll have like a thousand tons of the raw mineral. <laughs> so you'll, you'll take some time to burn through it. Dude, that's a lot, dude. 168? Are you lagging yet, dude? How's the FPS, man? I'm curious. Because, man, that is, that's some lag right there. Oh, it's, it's in? Oh, what? I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. It, the, the paintings are still glitched. <laughs> the paintings are somehow still glitched. Paku pathing is really greedy. It is. Paku pathing sucks. Paku pathing sucks, man. This feels weird, man. Does anyone know how to fix this? Does anyone know how to make it so that the paintings actually appear from the pixel packs? What's going on here, man? Is there a trick for this? Like, putting the ladder on top? Can you see the Z? level of the painting I can't I cannot I don't know how because I've never had to do something like that before <laughs> like is that even the thing that's possible it would make it easier I, I mean it would yeah but I don't I don't think the game has that as a feature Right. Oh, this is just waiting for the CO2. Okay. 
uh, right? And then the toilet water is fine. Don't worry, I'm a scientist. You could trust me, you guys. Oh, what? It's still jammed. There we go. Ah, yes. Fresh, fresh soda, guys. Do we have any soda drinkers in chat? <laughs> Do we got any soda drinkers in chat? I guess as long as you're getting your beauty bonus, it doesn't matter if the humans can see them. I don't know, man. I guess that's true. Oh, this works? Hey, we... F oh, no, it doesn't. I thought this works if I hover over it with the decor overlay. But it appears. Oh, and we're good. We're good. Hey, there we go. That's a trick. Hit the decor overlay and it fixes it. Ah, oh, we're in. All right, we get rid of the water cooler now. Your computer crashed trying to grab a screenshot of the Paku tank. Yo, man, you might have too much uh, Paku. You check out clan vote at all? I don't remember if you were a uh, rimber. I used to stream Rimworld, but yeah, I don't anymore. <laughs> now, clan folk, I don't plan on checking it out anytime soon. If the devs reach out to me to have me check out the game, I, I would. But I don't have any immediate plans on doing it. So I pause, and then I do this. Oh wait, I'm missing one. There we go. What a strat. You have, you download a copy. I hate it, Rimworld, but I don't mind it yet. I'm downloading straight right now though. Get my kitten on. A hey, nice. The thing with Rimworld that a lot of people don't like about it is how your, uh... You're basically at the mercy of RNG. And not a lot of people enjoy that type of play style, if that makes sense. Being at the mercy of random number generation is never a fun time. Like, just because the AI happens to roll a D20 and gets a 20 every time, you just lose the game sometimes, you know? And when it... when it Hey, Madato. This is where the tree is, right? A lot of algae. Okay, okay. A lot of algae, which is good. Yo, man. I didn't I didn't like rumor because I got smoked. Yeah, man. RNGs is too bad. And then you'll have people just just play on a lower difficulty, Lamo. When you play on a lower difficulty, it gets boring, man. It's crazy. It's night and day. Zero combat night folk, uh, clan, uh, clan folk. You know what's funny, Silent One? When I was quitting RimWorld and I didn't want to stream it anymore because of how unfair it felt when I was playing it, I picked up Oni, this game. And this game took over and basically makes it so that I never want to play RimWorld again. <laughs> it's, it's insane, but literally, because of the no combat, it was a lot more enjoyable for me. So hopefully it stays that way with the clan folks, man. Maybe I'll, uh, you know, have a little bit of a uh, different depth. Now, another thing is, is that RimWorld also embraced the science aspect head on. And the science aspect of this game is what carves out its own speciality for the game. In the sense that, you know... You play the game for the science aspect, not for the colony management aspect. And I think that's the smartest thing to do. Because of the fact that every other game that's a colony management game seems to be a RimWorld clone, right? There's, there's nothing about the individual games that makes the games feel like, oh, it's its own game. Everything just feels like it's a copy of RimWorld, right? That's not as, you know, fine-tuned, not as fleshed out. And it's like, you could say the same with some of the factory line games. They're just clones of Factorio, right? It's just Factorio reskinned. And I'm not a fan of those types of games. So hopefully, Clan Folks has something that kind of makes it so that it's unique to itself. That's, that's the hardest thing to do a lot of the times, is give your video game an identity that's not the genre. 
That's the difference between a good video game and a bad one. IMO, though. It's always IMO. Oh, it keeps going away, dude. Hacking. Come on, man. Stop taking my paintings from me. Is this still the ethanol challenge world, correct? Yes. The ethanol. All the lumber in the world. Using all the polluted dirt in the world to make oxygen. We only had 400 kilograms in here. You know what I'll do? I think it's worthwhile to cut this. And make it so that this line controls the front. I think that's worthwhile. And then we could dedicate the second line to something else. Oh, that works really well, actually. Popped my pick in the Oni channel? I, I Give me one second. I could have this come straight down to overtake this line. Now this line could dedicate to inside of the roofs. Now we also have this line that's no longer going to be used. That's going to dedicate to the right side. That's actually fine, I think. And then we could just rely on this as oxygen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so that's in. So I would go like this, like that. And then I would cut this line. And then this line is free to do that. Cut that to remove that pipe. Should be good. Alright, let's check out the uh, Ghost Rider. Paku farm that crashed his PC to oblivion. What? Oh, you have a one tile farm. Oh god. The one tile farm, dude. That's gonna do it, man. I see you over there. So you have Paku. So the Paku should be making up the difference. How many of those Paku are tame? Is it just the three in the big tank? If it is, I'm hoping you're only feeding them seeds. Because otherwise, if you're feeding them algae, they're going to have a bad time. What? How did they skip this one? Ah, come on, dude. That's not cool. Somehow they didn't... They deconstructed the wrong ladder. Feels bad, man. All right, so we're here, we're chilling. We have... We have how many tiles? 13? So one, two, three, four. Okay, so I do want to go past it. And then that will be 12 tiles left and I should be able to head back home. I might be able to take a roundabout uh, direction, like go down this way. And then explore a little bit on that side before going back home. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many of those uh, pockets are tame, man? I actually uh, am curious. Let's send a little bit. We have water. It's going to be fine. Oh, and my bathrooms are maxed out again. Oops. Hopefully the reactor pulls through before this becomes an issue. Technically, a lot of the dupes have private toilets, so it's probably not too bad. Reloading the game. Oh, yo, man. Sorry about that, Ghost Rider. I'm making you just turn on, turn off the game constantly. Dude, they're just shooting, like, like rapid fire. That's fine. I just need to burn through some of the water really quick. 30 kilograms at a time. There we go. And then that's heating up. More water comes in. One water bubble. What a struggle. Hadn't reloaded uh, after crash. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so... That should be fine. I should be getting this ready. So, the pipeline is what I haven't built yet. 
I need that. And then power is there. This needs to be oxygen. This is in a vacuum. I will need furniture. Mess table. Hey, another planet toy. Let's go. Does anyone... Do you guys know that sound when we discover a new planetoid? Does that remind anyone of Mega Man? Anyone know what I'm talking about? When I, anytime in Mega Man you get a new power-up, that's like the sound that I kind of remember. It's like an 8-bit celebration sound. Sift Eno? That sounds like the regolith asteroid. And it is. Ah, uh, feels bad. Oh, there's a frozen friend there? Oof. Steam vent. I don't want to go there. I might have to, though. I hope I don't. That random hatch. I should probably bring him out. And then... I need to automate this side. And then... Timer. Dude! It's actually not bad. Oh, you know what? I should probably do this. Two here, two here, two here, and two there. And blank canvases. Still feel bad that this is glitched. I I, I might want to post something on the forums for uh, for Clay. <laughs> like, Yo, man, you gotta fix this, man. All right, guys, what color should I have for the jukebox and the disco? Two colors to uh, make a checkerboard pattern. It's got to be yellow and black, right? Thinking about it, you got to have the dark colors, yellow for the spotlights. And then we'll have like select few. So is this the yellow I want? That does not look that good, to be honest. That's yellow-green. That's... That's not bad. I think I'll go with the first one, though. Alright, so... I probably want this color at the bottom still. And we take this and copy to all of them. And then we take the yellow. Does that work? That's not bright enough, though. Feels bad. Maybe have it in a pattern like that's what I'm looking for. You can't see the bottom of that, though. Feels bad. Oh, and I didn't get the back tile. All right, I'm taking suggestions for the jukebox area. If you guys have some color schemes, I'm thinking ideas for that. Should be good for now, though. Food poisoning. What? Uglar Visk from drinking germ-colored water? How'd you get the water to drink? Hold up. I'm actually curious. Where are you? Oh, this has germs in it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, man, that soda has germs in it. My bad. Oh, there it is. Food poisoning. God damn. You hate to see this kind of thing happen, boys. You really do. <laughs> uh man. That's technically my fault, right? Hmm. 
that would work if I expand out the sun so that I could hold a reservoir in here. All right. Uh, I probably don't want to remove this ladder. Having the liquid lock on this side is pretty convenient. So it would be like that, like that. Bam, 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 bam. And that should be fine for me to do this one drop lock on it. And then we'll have to expand out that side to put a little bit of reservoir space. So that I could, uh, you know, get the germs out of the water. Sorry, you guys, getting food poisoning. All right. Gilded Aster. Yo, Fullerene. Always lucky, man. Always lucky. This is eight tiles travel. 